Hey guys, so sorry for the wait for, you know, a video. It's been a while. So, uh, here it is, uh, an update. So, here's the Carpenterans. Seem to be doing fine. It's the Queen's Chamber with the most ants to protect her. Uh, all of the, you know, brood is in this room. Outside, I just fed them a cricket, so I have still been taking care of them, obviously. I just haven't uploaded anything. The spider tank. I'm gonna start making these spider tank videos somewhere else because it smells on the inside. So, the grass spider made two homes. One over here, and one over here, which is the big one. It's super messy. Then you have Destroyer over in that corner. Sorry, my arm isn't steady. And then we have the other tank. The other spider tank. Tons of babies. I did add a, one more female. Two more females, actually. So, yeah. Another batch of eggs. I'm gonna hatch the rest of these eggs. So I don't think they'll be able to hatch on their own. Okay, I'm gonna put that down. Right. And I haven't shown you guys this yet. Which is my guppy breeding tank. So, <clears throat> they aren't guppies, they're actually mosquito fish. They live out in the wild and they eat mosquitoes. So I'm gonna be breeding these guys. Um, then once I have enough of them, I'm gonna let some of them go into the wild so they can bring down that nasty mosquito population. Cause this year and last year, those like way too many mosquitoes. Uh, here, one of my mantises. I never told you guys that they shed. His wing is a messed up. He's like that uh, little breathing hole. Uh, so this is the mantis eggs. As you already know about the how they hatched everything before. And we have this guy, which sadly he fell while he was shedding, so his wings were messed up. But he's still growing strong and okay. Alright, that's Kato wing. <laughs> and then time for my other mantis. Yeah, I have three. I just never showed you guys. So here I have the last one. Uh, this guy is in a jar. So the wings came out all perfectly. So yeah. I made this guy a better tank. I don't know why, but you know, I guess it's just special. So we have lettuce, uh, a weird flower plant, and then another plant in the back. Uh, plants are doing good. Here we have the frogs. Dude, why is it so dark? Oh, that black splotches them. <laughs> so yeah, here's the tank. Both doing good. And in here is the speckled house spider. The one thing that I like about these, the cool thing, is that they're relative to the black widow. So I haven't got, I don't think I've gotten bitten by them before. I have would probably be bad. It's not focusing, it's focusing on the background. So all those black specks that you can see are all just babies. They're all babies. Look at all these. Hundreds of babies. So yeah. That's a new egg that it's sitting next to. Come out. Why isn't it focusing? You have that. Just wanted to say hello. <laughs> and you're probably thinking about the ant queens. We have ant queen cool. right here. Now the black ant queens have been doing better. The red ant queen, still nothing. It's kind of being a disappointment. It's been alive for. You know, 
I've had her longer than the black ant queens. Look how successful they've been. Look at all of these. Which are little ants. So we have the black ant queen. Yeah, there's the black ant queen, I think. And then we have... At least I think is the black ant queen. No, never mind, it wasn't. That was the winter ant queen. Here is the black ant queen. One of them, at least. Definitely much calmer. And then here we have the other black ant queen with the wings. Still hasn't gotten rid of them for some reason. Strange. She does have a worker, though. She has a worker and some other things. I don't know why she hasn't, you know, got rid of her wings. Obviously, the pavement ant queen. It's my favorite one because it's in the large test tube. Lots of workers. Queen's doing good. Tons of brood. Uh, I feed them like grasshopper legs because, you know, other things are too big. If the other queen. Can't really see what's going on there. You can see the workers, though. Feed them the legs. And last but not least, the last paper night queen. Doing good. Just getting a little freaked out because, you know, I took them out of their good space. Their comfy space. And something right here. A giant cricket. Oh shoot. Uh oh jeez. Okay, we won't touch that. Uh, something I haven't showed you guys is my collection, which is that is a bald faced hornet nest. Bald faced hornet nest, bald faced hornet net nest and bald faced hornet nest. These are crayfish sheds. Move this. That's much better. Uh, so there's a larger crayfish shed and that's the one from the Christmas video this is a blue swimming crab shell some aluminum that I melted with some pennies don't tell anyone it's illegal I don't know why I did it <laughs> actually didn't know my neighbor told me that it was illegal so I was like oh okay uh, so here we have a dragonfly two mantis sheds three different type of digging beetles then we have the bald-faced hornet, so that's what these things are. Look at that thing. I've gotten stung by one once. It, like, think about uh, a sewing needle, okay? And think of it being, like, red hot and it just poking you. That's how much it hurt, and it hit me in the pinky. My pinky swelled up for a bit, you know. You know, it went away pretty quickly, but still, it hurt. So here is uh, Korean moths. I'm not sure what they're called though. Uh, then we have, I don't know what type of coin that is. I think this is the weird coin. Okay. And then we have uh, shark teeth covered in black paint to keep them fresh. A piece of flint. Uh, crystals. These are geodes. And then we have aluminum, uh, not aluminum, iron ore, uh, a chunk of granite. I found. And then block of obsidian. And right over here is a lobster head, a dungeonous crab head, and a giant shell. So yeah. See you guys in the next video. Bye.